Hello and welcome to this free copywriting course for beginners. In this course, I share my action plan for you, how you can build a $3,000 a month copywriting business and do that without experience or a portfolio. And no, this is not a scam or another theoretic training. I've done it myself. I know how to do it. I built up my own half a million dollar business following these steps. So listen up pick up your notebook and let's get started. So in this mini course, I'll share with you the following. We'll talk about what's copywriting and how to start making money from copywriting immediately, or at least within the next week or two. Then we're gonna move on to talking about how to master copywriting as a skill fast within the next month. After that, I'd love to share with you my personal case study of how I went from making literally zero to having half a million dollar business. Then I'll talk you through my very quick strategy, how to get your first client. After working through the inner workings of getting your first client, we will then move on to how to achieve your first 1K month as a freelance copywriter. And finally, we will finish the training with bonus resources for a new copywriter just like yourself. So let's get started. Sounds good, but who are you? Are you yet another online guru entrepreneur who's just thrown some slides together and has never ever implemented what they're trying to teach like most of the people on the internet? No, thank you very much, I am not. And here are three facts about me to show you that. No, seriously, this is the template that, or the strategy that I've used myself. This is how I've built my own business. This is how I first became a copywriter and then actually built up an entire business. So this is what I did. So first I worked as a copywriter making 100K in revenue. And I literally got hired to travel around the world, interview entrepreneurs and write stories about them. I, I was hired by, by this company. And in that year, I made over 100,000 in, in copywriting revenue. Now, number two, what I then did, I used my copywriting skills, which I really believe is like the number one skill that every entrepreneur should master. So whether you just wanna be a copywriter and make money out of it, or you wanna be an entrepreneur and build up a business of any kind, Copywriting is the skill to have. This is how I built up my own online language school that so far has generated over $500,000 and taught over 5,000 students. And it, the entire thing that I've done was really based on my ability to write copy and my ability to sell. And lastly, whenever I teach copywriters, when I teach entrepreneurs, I draw on my experience as a classically trained theater director and scriptwriter. Because this is where I've learned how to use words to a great effect and power. Now, do you need to have all of these credentials to get started as a copywriter? No, you don't. You don't have to have an education. You can still be in high school. You don't have to have this massive portfolio and I'll explain how you can do that today, how you can start looking for clients without being the wordsmith of the world. So let's get started. One last reiteration of this thought. So when you master copywriting as a skill, you can literally turn your words into cash. It's literally like printing money. So if you wanna learn how to print money, continue watching this training. And whether you just want to be a freelance copywriter, as I said before, and, and build up your little business to $3,000 a month, or you want to have a massive team and you, you just want to be a business owner selling whatever you want to sell, you need this training. You need to be a good copywriter. What is copywriting? So Fiverr's definition, Fiverr is this platform which is loved and favored by copywriters wanting to sell their services. Make a note if you want to be a copywriter, you, you want to make money, go check out Fiverr. Their definition is copywriting Writing is one of the most important elements of advertising and marketing. It's the process of writing persuasive words known as copy that inspire or motivate people to take specific action. Mm, very nice. But my definition of copywriting is bringing the product to the customer through the power of words. When you write copy, you take the product, whatever it is, it might be like a French press or a phone or, or whatever, this microphone, and you find a way to bring this product into the customer's life in a way that 
it enchants the customer, even if it's a freaking coffee pot. This is the power of good copywriting and it comes in many, many shapes and forms. So you might be writing sales pages. You might be writing, which is like a landing page on which you go and you know they, they break down how amazing this coffee pot is and you just need to, to order it or, or buy an online course or, or whatever it might be. Another format is email marketing. So I'm sure you're getting a slew of emails every, every day from companies, from entrepreneurs trying to sell you courses, trying to sell you coffee, trying to sell you a new toothpaste, whatever it might be. So email marketing is yet another format that you can be mastering as a copywriter and charging for, and companies will pay a lot of money for you to write that copy. Actually, it's the easiest way to get started. It's the easiest way to start making money as a copywriter is go to companies and help them write good emails, but we'll talk about that later. Social media ads. This is what you see on Facebook every day on Instagram, whichever platform you favor. Helping companies write those ads is an extremely profitable business. You know, blog posts and content writing is slightly a different niche, but it's still within this skill. Also helping entrepreneurs write video scripts. So now the primary form of marketing right now is video, especially on social. Every entrepreneur, business owner, a dentist in your town, an accountant needs a good video script that they can read out, that they can sell with. And you can be the person writing that video script. Now, I know as I'm reading all of this out, you might be thinking, but Darius, this sounds super hard. I do not know where to start. You know, it, it's just like rocket science. I'll tell you what, it's not really rocket science. It is very easy and I'm just going to break it down step by step within this training and on this channel and I'm going to give you resources where you can actually go and find the right information. You know, newspaper ads, product descriptions, on and on and on. So basically copywriting is needed everywhere. Now let's address this fear that is probably bubbling up in you right now if you are a beginner copywriter and thinking, you know, so where do I start? Good news is that it's not like being a doctor. You can't learn it on the job. You can't go into uh, an operating theater and just wing it. You can't. You can't Google up how to operate a heart. It's not going to happen. But with writing, congratulations, you actually can do that. <laughs> but, but there's one thing that you need to do daily, and it's very easy again. So number one, you need to write. And journaling also counts. You need to write as much as you can. Write copy about things that nobody has hired you to write copy about. If you like your iPhone, write a good article about your iPhone or, or you like a book, write a good Facebook ad about that book, getting people to buy that book. And, in, and if that sounds too complicated, simply open your journal and write whatever is going through your mind. Whilst it's not copywriting per se, it's training your brain to think in words on paper. And the more you write, the more agency you have over your words, the more visceral your writing becomes. So another thing is reading. This is where you get like these fancy words from. No, but seriously, reading is paramount importance. You don't need to have graduated from fancy schools, colleges, universities, but you need to be reading. And if you haven't been reading up to this point and you want to be a copywriter, I'll recommend you these couple of books. Read these books and I promise you, you will walk out with the foundational knowledge on how to write good copy. The first book, Breakthrough Advertising by um, Eugene Schwartz, is quite hard to get hold of because it's quite a rare book. It's quite an expensive book, but if you can get it, it's invaluable. It's literally your Bible for copywriting. It's your Bible for advertising. It's your Bible for learning how to start turning your words into cash. If you can, buy this book. If you were to buy one book right now, I would buy that book and just go and read it, like memorize it, like make it your Bible. So whenever you're woken up at night, you can literally recite this book back. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but um, seriously, it's, it's a really good book. Another book, which is The Elements of Style. Actually, I have it here on my table. This is a very technical book on actually how to structure your writing. It's not a page turner. It's a little dry, but it really teaches you how to structure your sentences, how to write literally the craft of writing. This is a very useful one to have by your bedside as well. Now, as I said before, I am like a massive, massive fan of using screenwriting principles in copywriting. When you write 
think of your favorite film. Any scene that is most memorable in that film would have been written and rewritten and rewritten thousands of times until it got approved to be actually acted out on the screen. Because script writing is the ultimate art of writing concisely, economically, of writing effectively. So if you want to become the best copywriter, and I promise that's possible, just study how good films are written and just read this book, The Screenwriter's Workbook by Sid Field. You, you'll learn so many techniques that you can adapt in your copywriting that it will be beyond. It'll be like the best marketing course that you can ever get yourself into. Then the fourth book I'd love to recommend you is by Seth Godin, All Marketers Are Liars, Crossed Out, Tell Stories. This is about how you bring in storytelling into your marketing. Seth Godin is like the best marketeer on the planet. He has an amazing blog. If you look it up, read his blog, read his book. And lastly, influence the psychology of persuasion. If you read these five books, you are set. Now, can you start copywriting before you read these five books? Of course you can, and you should, and you, you must start writing right now, and we'll get it to the point where I tell you how to get your first client. But as you are building up your client base, as you are becoming a better copywriter, make sure you're reading these books and make sure that you're writing daily. There are two things, read and write. And now we've got to part three of this training, how to get your first client. And then how I did it and how I went from charging literally zero and having no clients to then charging a thousand to charging 3,000, 5,000 and then having a half a million dollar business. Number one, what I would do is I would tell the world in your case, that you are now a copywriter. I know that it sounds a bit like, mm, really, should I? Should I now post? Like, I'm not a copywriter yet. I haven't started anything. I don't have a portfolio. No, you should. You should go on Facebook right now and do a post where you say, I began working with a number of entrepreneurs. I began working with a number of businesses as a copywriter. And this month, I have two slots available for a few new clients. If interested, PM me, DM me, whichever platform lingo you use according obviously to the platform and by doing that a few times you might just get people in your circle notice the fact that you are now a copywriter you wouldn't have spent hours and hours on writing a massive post or putting up a website it would be just a quick post but people would know of you actually now being a copywriter and you might just get people from your circle coming your way and saying hey i have this business i need your help now this is exactly what i did this is how i got my first copywriting client and that was an, an accounting company actually in the uk they wrote to me and they said we want your services and you know i made up a number i think at the time I was already living in Bali, so I worked out that I don't need that much. So I said, if you pay me, I think it was 600 pounds every month, I would write you, you know, two blog posts and a bunch of social media posts. And, and they hired me and, and I suddenly had a job. It is as easy as that. And even if nobody responds to your post on Facebook, what you then do, you think of who do I want to work with? So in my case, when I started working with this accounting company, they started referring me to these other accounting companies. And yes, it's dull to be working for an accounting company. I agree. But you want to get started. You want to get charging. You want to get money coming in. And later on, you'll be able to pick your clients when, once you have more than one. This is how I found my niche and started working with an accounting client. So in your case, what I would do now, say if you didn't get any leads through your post that you did on social, go online, check out businesses in your local area, and find the small businesses, dentists, accountants, doctors, whoever, beauty salons, and approach the ones that are not doing well on social, that do not have websites, that have bad websites, that have no advertising going, and tell them how they could be doing better or how they could start advertising. So this is how you get out of this whole idea that you need a portfolio, right? Because you literally giving them the steps how they could be improving their website, their ads, if they run them on Facebook, how they could be positioning themselves better. And with that, you build credibility. 
Now, it might not be that everybody responds to this. And, and some people would just look at what you've sent them and, and go, actually, I should hire them. They're pretty good. So this is how you avoid this portfolio trap. When you start working with that first client and you prove to them that you're actually good and you're going to become good by working with them because they're going to tell you what they need and you're just going to deliver what they need, then you can ask them, do you know of any other businesses that I could work with. And they're going to literally refer you to their friends who have businesses and, and step by step, you have more and more clients. When I ended up working as a paid copywriter, then traveling the world, it was very simple that I also used that strategy. So once I got my accounting clients in the UK, but I was living then in Bali, I started hanging out in Bali a lot in entrepreneurial circles. And I met the super amazing company that was in the field of entrepreneur education. They needed somebody to write success stories for their clients. And one thing led to the next. And, you know, they hired me to travel the world and write for them. And and they paid an amazing salary. So the point is that you build it up slowly. Had they not started working with these copywriting clients in a small town in England, I wouldn't have been able, or I wouldn't have had the courage to say to this big company, sure, I'm gonna now fly with you around the world and write these amazing articles. I mean, I wouldn't have had the faith in myself, honestly. But since I built up that experience, I was comfortable enough in doing that. This is how you get your first client. Just literally go out there, email and message as many people as you can, give them some value, tell them what they could be improving right now, tell them how their marketing could be better. And then you'll see that in no time, people will be getting back to you and say, hey, help me out with this, help me out with that. And before you know, you have three to five clients and you're already hitting 5K a month as a copywriter without no experience. But since you have these five people with you, now you have a lot of experience. As you're reaching out to your potential clients and giving them feedback on how they could improve their copy and marketing, you need to learn how to break down a landing page, a marketing campaign, a video script. You need to learn how to pick a piece of text apart and understand how it's written in order to be able to tell your client how to improve it and also to know yourself how you can actually make it better. So let's look at how you break it all down. These are the questions that will really help you understand how the copy is written, structured and created. All the nuts and bolts. The first question that you want to be asking yourself is the headline or headlines, depending on how many obviously you have within the article, is the headline strong and punchy? Then are subheadings powerful and guide the reader's attention through the copy? This is super important to see the mechanics of a copy and how the attention of the reader is guided through. Is it easy to grasp what the writer is trying to say? When you look at the copy, are they using a bunch of super sophisticated words that are making this copy impenetrable? Here you are, I just used one word, which, you know, if it's on paper, it makes it even harder to read. Then you go and underline complicated and hard to read sentences. And then you ask yourself, okay, how would I be able to rephrase these sentences? But you want to be underlining also light and easy to read sentences to also perfect this instinct within yourself as a copywriter, what works, what sentences work, how are they phrased, how do they sound? I just love copywriting. I think copywriting is just so amazing. It makes me excited as, as I'm talking about these things. Then what you want to be doing, you want to be asking yourself, how is this text structured? What is its overall structure? Is it structured to its maximum effect? And would you structure it differently? This might be an entire sales page that you're going to be breaking down. This might just be a paragraph in a Facebook ad. This might be a video ad plus copy, or it might be a newsletter that you'll be scanning and trying to pick apart. So to finish off, beginner tips and hacks for your first copy. Number one tip that I can give to a beginner copywriter is talk to your reader. Know thy reader, know your customer. Put yourself in your customer's shoes and know them inside out. Know their fears, know their doubts, know what they're thinking about. So. Imagine this ideal customer, this reader to whom you're writing, opening a newspaper or scrolling through um, a social media feed and seeing your ad. You need that ad to speak right to them. This is like the most important step. So 
this can't be underestimated. If you're working for a dentist, for example, understand their client, understand their pains. Well, literally, it's a literal pain. It's a toothache. But this is the number one thing you have to do. Now, the second thing I'd advise cut 30% of your final copy because what that does, it helps you slim down the copy. It makes it punchier. Really be ruthless and cut 30% of it. Then what you want to do is you want to underline clumsy sentences and you want to rewrite them. You want to rephrase them. You also want to stay away from generic words such as, this is a great service. This is a bad ad. This is a nice setup. No, no, no. You want to be specific. You want to use specific words that speak to your reader, to your client. But most importantly, tell a story. Good copywriting is telling good stories. And I'm really hoping to talk more about this on this channel because I think this is the most underutilized strategy by copywriters. And lastly, some additional resources and tools to help you on this journey as a copywriter. So first is Grammarly. It's an amazing app, which is essentially your personal proofreader because you do not want to send your copy to your client full of errors. Grammarly will help you make sure that your copy is spotless. Then I would also copy paste my text into Hemingway Editor because that helps you not only, again, identify some errors within your copy, but also see the difficulty of certain sentences within your copy. So for example, the sentence marked in red is a sentence which Hemingway thinks is too hard to read. Or the clause written in green is a passive voice that Hemingway app thinks you should probably be avoiding. So this is also a great tool for a new copywriter to be mindful of how they phrase their copy, how they write their sentences and what words and structures within their sentences they use. And probably my favorite tool is Facebook Ads Library. This is where you can actually look at other companies, entrepreneurs and businesses and analyze how they write ads, film ads, structure ads, like how do they build their ad campaigns. So this is very useful for you as a copywriter, just in terms of learning the craft. But also if you want to approach certain companies, clients, businesses, and tell them how they could be improving their copy, their advertising, this is where you find it in one place. This is incredibly valuable when you want to be approaching your new client, telling them what they could be improving in their ads. So this was our crash course in becoming a copywriter and hitting your $3,000 month and building your copywriting business without a portfolio or experience. And I really hope that I've given you a step-by-step -step plan, which actually helps you and tells you and shows you how to exactly do that. If you like this training, of course, click like and subscribe because I'm going to be putting out many more of these videos. Also comment below with your thoughts, with your biggest takeaways or any questions that you might have, and I'll be more than happy to answer. See you in the next video.